Happiness is um, found around a dining table um, with friends and family and good food and a glass of wine. Address. Brugelstraat 16, Amsterdam, Holland, Europe, Northern Hemisphere, Earth, Solar System, Galaxy, Universe, Space. Thomas is, in many ways, like any nine or ten-year-old child, so he's at that time in his life where he's beginning to see the world in a new way and ask questions of it that he hasn't had to before. It's where you begin to understand the world of the adult, but it's still very big and mysterious. So he's sort of living in a time in his life where everything is becoming very overwhelming to him. Um, he still has the imaginative power of the child to see things that don't really exist and take from suggestion. He believes that his next door neighbor is a witch because she wears black clothes, but he also has to engage with a world where he lives with a very scary, sometimes abusive father, and he tries to make sense of that through stories that he tells himself and through the Bible. So it's a very tumultuous time to play a character driven by sort of innocence and curiosity and the questions that he's asking, he's not allowed to have answers to a lot of the time. Ladies have to cover their heads when they go to church. You aren't allowed to see their hairdos. It's all right for men, though. They don't have hairdos. I love that it's a sort of a quintessential children's story that I know that I hadn't heard before, um, and yet it rings with the same sort of storytelling complexity and vigor of like the stories of like Roald Dahl and those those books which are written for nine ten year olds which start to deal with um, darker themes but it does so in a way that it sort of tricks you it's very light very charming and then you're taken somewhere very dark all of a sudden and then you're swooped back out again um, into the world of the child um, yeah, I find it very affecting <laughs>